Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome back to All About The Max. Thank you all for stopping in and watching. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and share, share, share. In today's video is another cooking video. I am cooking jambalaya rice with sausages and shrimp. I have a video on this in the past, um, but I, this is what I had for dinner last night, so I decided to just go ahead and film it again. But um, I started off, I rinsed off my smoked sausages and I'm using egg rich skinless sausage. And I'm just going to slice these sausages all up, sit them to the side while my shrimp is thawing out. And then I'm gonna go and take the shells off my shrimp and they are deveined already. So I'm just gonna take the shells off of them and rinse them in cold water a few times and get them going as well. Now I got in my pan some olive oil and I'm going to start cooking my sausages. Now I'm going to start cooking my sausages in this olive oil, and I'm going to just cook them till they brown on both sides, and then I'm going to take them out and set them to the side. Now that my sausages are done, I'm going to take them out and set them to the side. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter to the um, oil and the flavor that was left in the pan. And that's when I'm going to start cooking my shrimp. Now I'm gonna add my shrimp, and then I'm gonna season them. You can season the shrimp with whatever seasonings you like. It doesn't matter on the seasoning because it's your preference, but I'm using all kinds of seasonings. I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, um, magic seafood seasoning, um, black pepper, Slap your mama seasonings. I'll show you the season I'm using, it, using, but feel free to omit any season that I'm using or add your own that you prefer. Now that I have all the seasonings that I would like to use in my shrimp, I'm going to just stir them around and start letting them cook. In a few minutes, I'm going to put the lid on it just so it can cook all the way through a little faster. Now I'm gonna go in and toss a little bit more seasoning in there. 
I'm not going to use all the seasonings I used in the beginning, but I'm just going in with a little bit more Magic Seafood Seasoning and a little bit more garlic powder. Now that the shrimp are done, I'm going to take them out and set them to the side so I can get my rice mixture going. Now I'm going to add about two teaspoons more of butter. I'm going in with a little bit of water. I'm going in with some chicken broth. And I have three boxes of the jambalaya rice, two miles and one regular jambalaya, because I don't want it really spicy, so I only got one regular box and two miles. And so I'm putting this much liquid in there because, you know, I've got three boxes of rice. So now that all of this liquid came to a boil, I'm going to add my rice um, packet, all three. And I'm going to just stir all of that up together. And then I'm gonna start adding my meat, my sausages and my shrimp. And while doing so, I did realize, you know what? I got a lot of water and contents in this pan. So I need to move all of this stuff to a bigger pot. So you gonna see me switch out my pot in a few minutes. See how it filled to the top? No, this has to be transferred to another pot. <laughs> so I transfer it all to another pot, a bigger pot, and I'm just going to stir all the contents and all the seasonings up together. And I have this on a medium high to bring it to a boil. And I will go in periodically just stirring it up because it still has a lot of liquid in there. So I'm not going to turn it on a low right now. I'm just stirring it all up. Then I'm going to put the lid on it. Keep going back, stirring it up, doing the same thing while water is in there. Once I see that the water is no longer in there like it is now, just a little bit, I'm going to level it all out, put the lid on it, turn it on a low, and let it simmer until it's no more um, water in there and the rice is not soaked in water and it's just you know like rice it already came to a simmer and it's soft and fluffy and it doesn't have any liquid in there you're gonna turn it on low until that and just go in and give it all a good stir and it's ready down to serve I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like, go ahead and comment, go ahead and share, share, share. And I'll see you on the next video. Be blessed and have a safe week and weekend. Bye.